please welcome the one and only Daddy of the Teddy, Wieland Speck. Aren't you ready yet, Wieland? Not quite. Such a surprise here. The yeah. evening is just uh, running. Yeah, it was a surprise. Good evening, everybody. Uh, I was sitting here in the front row. Now I see how deep this hall is. Um, I got already very moved uh, when I looked at the many people that came to the Queer Academy conference that we had this year. And uh, so I'm not going to do that again because my voice almost failed. It was a small group 30 years ago, maybe 15, 20 people that were the basis for the idea of having a Teddy Award. And at that time, there were not that many films. So we showed, or let's put it that way, there were many films that were not exactly the caliber that we could show in the festival. So what we did is, after the festival day was over, we went to the gay bookstore and watched all night on 16 millimeter film, all the films that we needed as a subculture to develop further. And uh, this combination of festival presentation and subcultural work was the basis of the idea of the Teddy Award. Now the filmmakers that participated at that time, many are not even living anymore. So we lost a lot of people of course in the 80s and the early 90s, including the founder of Panorama, which is Manfred Salzgeber. We saw him several times on the screen here. But we survived and that is exactly the program that is written in my brain. And it led to an evening like this. And this is really something I thank you all for participating because if you wouldn't be here, this wouldn't be possible. The filmmakers, but also everyone here who buys the ticket because this is how I finance the Teddy Award. Thank you for that. The program this year was Again, I think I can say again, very strong. We had a different focus, a focus we didn't have in the past years. It was the sensitivity of the male figures, which really were very deeply into the male role model imprinted. So it's about freeing the male from the role model. And uh, we had several films that dealt with that subject matter. We already saw the French film here, the clips of Theo et Hugo is one of them. And I was very happy about this because I think the biggest problem in this planet Earth is the male figure that still controls everything. We saw a film with the title Goat, which didn't have a subject matter that is queer in that sense, but uh, one of the producers will be our wonderful uh, guest tonight, the uh, guest of honor, uh, Christine Vachon. The other producer was James Franco. He also plays a little part in it. In this film, we can see painfully how the male, I mean, how the humane ethics of a young person gets broken, and it gets broken in order to create out of a human being a male who is supposed to be elitist and running the world. Be a banker, be scrupulous, and that is something we have to fight against wherever we see it, because this is what it is about, emancipation. The other big theme this year was leaving the family, leaving the place where you were born, where you grew up. Looking at the situation that we have in society right now in Europe, the refugees, we as queer people realize almost none of us is living on the place where he or she grew up. And that means if we see ourselves as a refugee group in this planet Earth, as long as you can look back into history, you see the biggest group of refugees 
this is just us. And that also means a transfer of culture. It has many layers. And I'm very happy that I heard the mayor of Berlin say today that uh, there's also, and you said it with the Amnesty International, that the care of queer refugees is uh, in a much better, will get into a much better place. It's the same for women. There's no difference to that. They have to live close to those who are torturing them. So I'm very happy that this is something that's on the way. And we have, of course, to be active in it in the next few days and weeks. It has no time to lose in this place. <laughs> Russia, Indonesia, Argentina, South Africa, places that have become much better places for queer people over the past 30 years. We have become a better place over the past 30 years for queer people, for queer people or let's say 40, 40, almost 50 years. Let's not forget, still, the Nazi law was in Germany valid until 69, and the people that were put from the concentration camps into the prisons of the Adenauer era are still not recognized as victims of this law. This is the reality of this country. And as much we think the attitude of the chancellor is something very respectable, and I do think so, still she has a stomach ache when it comes to adoption of queer parents, and I think that's a shame. If you have a stomach ache, go to the doctor and don't keep people from getting equal rights. Well, I was almost there to get Christine Vachon, our special Teddy Award, on stage. But this is a wonderful woman that you all know because you know her work. The first Teddy she won was with the first film of Todd Haynes. That film was Poison. It was the year 1991. She made every Todd Haynes film since, including Carol, which is still now in the theaters. And she had a dozen films in the uh, program of the Berlinale over the years. And I just want to watch the clip that the fantastic producers of the Teddy Award ceremony tonight have put together before I bring her up. Let's watch the film. children are. Don't you know me, Kansas City? I'm the new Berlin Wall. Try to tear me down. I can't let this thing destroy my life. You're all meant to me. You're all mad. Stop, stop it! I'm gonna ask her to marry me. Before or after your sex change operation. Before or after you tell her that you're a girl. Shut up! Betty, do you understand what kind of man buys these pictures? High quality people. I met one of them. He's a lawyer. He's very nice. I've been seeing a neurologist. You've been seeing a neurologist? Why? They think that it might be early onset Alzheimer's disease. Mm -hmm. 
An endless circle of living and dying until someone breaks it. You walked in here, you ruptured the pattern. Bang! I'm gonna give you your own stake in the family farm. I'm not staying here, Dad. I'm racing cars. Yeah, I shot him. Who did you shoot? Andy Warhol. Valerie, no, don't Valerie, no! She is a wonderful girl. No. Is wonderful singer. That girl is something else. There's a certain someone very much like to meet you. Who? Errol Flynn. You know who he is, don't you? Sure. Robin Hood. I read somewhere that you no longer do the protest thing. Well, that's all I ever do is uh, protest. It shouldn't be like this. I know. What a strange girl you are. Why? Flung out of space. Can you believe this? Can you believe this? This woman made all these terms. Christine Vachon. I am so overcome now. I, now everything I was going to say like has gone out of my head. Um, I'm a big believer that when you are, when you're going to give somebody an award, you should prepare. But when you're getting an award, you shouldn't. So I didn't. Um, I have been coming to Berlin for a very long time. Uh, I came here first in 1991 with Poison. Uh, and it was the first international film festival I came to. And it was a, an extraordinary education for me in what it was like to, to show films to people, of, to, 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 to share our experiences and our movies with people from all kinds of different cultures. It's really important, I think, to say that when I first started making the movies that started winning Teddy Awards. It was in the middle of the AIDS crisis, and we were making movies with a tremendous sense of urgency. We were really, we were telling stories with the notion that if we didn't get our stories told, we'd never get them told. And those were movies like Poison, Go Fish, Swoon, Hedwig and the Angry Inch, I'm leaving some of them out. But Berlin and the Teddy Awards made these, not only made these movies possible, but celebrated them. When I came here with Poison, I had no idea. I was here for the, you know, the first few days of the festival, and I was told, there's an award you could win. You know, this Teddy Award. And I was like, there is? For a movie like ours? And it's extraordinary to me that 30 years ago, this award was, I, well, it was, it was less than 30 years ago, but that this, this, that this award 
was here recognizing the kind of movies we were trying to make and, um, and the kind of cultural conversation that that ignited, it's just extraordinary. So I want this award to really be about the Teddies, not about me. And um, happy 30th anniversary. And Veland, it's so extraordinary what you have done. It's so extraordinary that you've been doing this for so long. And that's just, that's what I want this award to be about. Back to you. Back to you. Back to you. <laughs> when I got it, you know, 25 years ago, it was a soft thing. Okay, let's go down. Have a drink. Congratulations, Christine Vachon.